Hello guys, in this lesson, we want to add the food page to the project. So when you click on a food, you could be able to see its details in a separate page with an add to cart button. Watch this video to the end if you like to know how. Okay, here is the roadmap for this lesson. Let's start by adding get food by ID method to the food service. From the explorer, go to the food service. Then add another method with the name of get food by ID. Food ID has an input parameter with the type of string and it returns a food. And let's return this.getAll and find the food where the food.id is equal to food ID, our input parameter. But this find could return an undefined too. So let's use knowledge coalescing operator or double question mark and return new food when this part is undefined. Okay, our method is ready here. Let's close the service and go to the next step that is generating the food page component. From the terminal, select new terminal, then go to the front end folder, then write ngGC for generating the component inside components slash pages, because food page obviously is a separate page and food dash page and press enter. Now that our food page is generated, it's time for adding it to the route as a separate page. So let's close the terminal and open up the explorer, then go to the app routing module. Here, let's add another route with the path of food slash ID that goes to the food page component, our new component that we generated seconds ago. Now, if we go to the browser and click on a food, we could be able to see food page works. It means we are ready for the next step that is adding required data to the food page component TS file. Let's open up the explorer, go to the components, pages, and food page. We have our newly generated component and click on the TS file. Let's add a food property here, just like how we did for the other components. Set its type to food. Now we need to inject activated route here, that is of type activated route, to read the food ID from the route params. Then we need to inject food service, the type of food service, to get the food based on that food ID. Here we go. Let's write activated route and params a subscribe for listening to the params and params input that gives us the new params inside the route and check if the params ID then set this.food equal to food service get food by ID and pass the params.id as the food ID to this method. Here we go. Currently, we are done with the food page component and it's time for the next step that is adding required tags to the food page components HTML file. Okay, from the explorer, open up the food page components HTML file, then clear everything here. Let's start adding a div with the class of container and inside it, let's add the image with the src of food.image URL and the alternative text food.name for showing the image of the food. Let's see it inside the browser. As you can see, we could see the image of the food inside the food page. Let's continue. We need to add a div with the class of details. Inside it, we need to have a div with a class of header that has two spans. First span with the class of name with the text of food.name. Second span with the class of favorite with a dynamic class that checks if food.favorite is true, then add no class. Otherwise, add a not class just like how we did for the home page. Then the heart character that you can find using comment link in the description below. Let's add the rating of the food. So add another div with the class of rating. Inside it, let's use a star rating component with the value of food.stars. Total stars should be five. Checked color should be red. Unchecked color should be black and the size should be 25 pixels and read only should be true. Then close the star rating. 
Let's see them in action. As you can see, we have the header of the details here and the star rating here. Let's continue by adding the origins and the tags to the food page component. So let's start by adding another div with a class of origins. That is the container of the origins and span that generates the items of origin. So it should have an ng4 with let origin of food.origins to loop through the origins and show them as a text inside the span. It's time for adding the tags, div class tags, and a tags inside it with an ng4 that loops through the tags of the food. And the router link will go to the tag route the parameter of tag. So when you click on each tag, it will show the foods based on that specific tag. And its text should be tag. Let's see them in action. Okay, we have the origins here and we have the tags link here. So if we click on them, we will be redirected to the tags route that show the foods based on that specific tag. Let's get back and continue by adding the cook time and the price of the food. Let's add another div with a class of cook time. Inside it, let's use a span with the text of time to cook about strong text food.cooktime minutes. So it will be rendered like time to cook about 5 to 10 minutes. That's what we want. Now let's add the price here. Div class price span food.price that is formatted as currency and a button with the text of add to cart that will do nothing in this lesson but it will in the next lesson okay let's see the result now we are showing all the data that we want to show on the next step we want to add the css to them to make them beautiful from the explorer select food page component css file and start by the container class its display should be flex. Its justify content should be center, align items, center, flex wrap, wrap, and margin three rem. And for everything that are first level child of the container, that means the image and the div with the class of details, their min width should be 25 rem and their max width should be 40 rem. Let's see this in action. As you can see, we have the image on the left side and we have our details on the right side. Let's continue. Our image should have a border radius 3 rem, flex grow of 1 and flex shrink of 0, object fit cover height 35 rem and margin of 1 rem. Let's see it in the browser. As you can see we have our image round shape and we have a little bit of margin here. Very nice. Let's go to the details. The details class should have a width of 100%. Display should be flex. Flex direction should be column from top to bottom. Its flex grow should be 1. And its flex ring should be 0. Its border radius should be 3 rem. Padding 2 rem. Its text color should be black. And its margin left should be 1 rem. Next we have header class. Its display should be flex. And its justify content should be space between. If we see the browser, you could see that we have the name here and the favorite icon here. And there is a space between them as much as possible. Now let's add the styles, the name of the food and this favorite icon. For the name class, its font size should be 2 rem and its font weight should be bold. And for the favorite class, we have the text color of hashtag E72929 and font size that is 2.5 rem. And when the food is not favorite, the color should be gray. Let's see the result. As you can see, we have this beautiful header for the details. Now let's add the styles to the origins. But origins, its display should be flex. Its flex wrap should be wrap. And its margin should be 1 rem from top and bottom and 0 from left and right. This is for the container of origins and for each span inside the origins we want a padding of half a rem, font size 1.2 rem, its margin half a rem from the top, half a rem from the right, half a rem from the bottom and 0 from the left. Border radius 
should be Turem. Background color should be Alice Blue. Let's see the origins. Okay, very well. We have our beautiful origins. Let's go for the tags. For the tags, don't need to write any styles. We just need to go to the tags component CSS file inside the partials, tags, tags component CSS and copy everything and paste it here. Then rename the devs to tags class and remove this justify content center because it shouldn't be center aligned here. Let's see it inside the browser. We have these beautiful tags. Now it's time for cook time price and add to cart button. Let's add the cook time class. It's margin top should be one rep. And for the span inside it, it's padding should be 0.6 RAM from the top, 2 RAM from the right, 0.6 RAM from the bottom, and 0 from the left. Its border radius should be 10 RAM, and its font size should be 1.3 RAM. For the price class, we want a font size of 1.8 RAM, margin of 2 RAM from the top, 2 RAM from the right, 2 RAM from the bottom, and 0 from the left. Its text color should be green. For the price, I want to show a price text before the real value. So I want to use pseudo element selector by writing price before. Its content should be price, colon, and a space. And its color should be dark gray. For the add to cart button, its color should be white, its background, should be hashtag E72929. Its border should be none. Font size 1.2 RAM. Padding of 1 RAM. Border radius 10 RAM. An outline that is none. And for its hover effect, the opacity should be 0 0.9 and cursor should be pointer. Let's see it inside the browser. Here we go. We have this beautiful food page. Okay, this was for this lesson. In the next lesson, we want to add the cart page to the project. You've been watching Code Nasir, and I hope to see you next time.